we are here, uh, four ambassadors from the European Union and also um, maybe uh, some other uh, members of uh, EU embassies here as well. And as you rightly said, we are here in solidarity uh, with the victims uh, and the uh, dependents of this uh, terrible um, terror uh, incident that took place uh, a couple of days ago uh, in Jerusalem and took the lives of four uh, young people uh, in a totally meaningless uh, way. I think uh, as uh, your talk also demonstrates, um, terrorism strikes uh, everywhere. It reads Jerusalem, Nice, Berlin. And I think um, this is the whole point. Nobody is secure from terror, irrespective of where uh, we happen to be on the planet. And that's the reason why it's so necessary for all of us uh, to show um, solidarity internationally and across border in fighting this despicable phenomenon uh, that we so tragically have seen strike again here in, uh, in Jerusalem. Uh, our th hearts and thoughts go out to the victims, of course, and to uh, their bereaved uh, families. Um, and uh, um, I think that we collectively must uh, do all we can to fight this uh, scourge uh, and, and end uh, these kind of meaningless and, and tragic uh, uh, deaths. We've seen here an exhibit, a truck, that shows that uh, although uh, that, uh, that Sunday's truck was the same truck that hit, hit Nice and hit Berlin, and this is the same terror that hit is in Istanbul, New York City and Minnesota, to say terror is terror is terror, there's no difference between the terror attacks that Israeli are experiencing for many years now and the terror attacks that uh, now is hitting Europe, United States and Asia. Because there are people that are trying to say that it's different. And in Israel, it's not exactly terror, or it's some sort of war, some sort of battle. I think this is a segment of the past. Now the world understands that this is the same terror. If you differentiate terror, you give terror as an excuse. Israel, in, in a way, was the forefront of uh, fighting terror. We were the first to encounter the suicide attacks. We were the first one to encounter the, these trucks. And now the, the world is, being tra is now realizing it. And I think the only way is to come with the message saying we are united against terror and there's no excuse to terror.